Hello and welcome to Sudoku Now. We're here to solve this descriptive pair Sudoku by Dutch author Wilbert Zwart. It was published on the magnificent website that's called WCPN for World Class Puzzles from the Netherlands. And the rule here is that whenever you have two numbers in the margin, it means that one of them is a digit to be placed on the position that is given by the other digit. And so here we could have the one in third position. Oh, what's happening? Let's select this. So it could be the one in third position, or it could be the three in first position. And something very special here is that in this case, oh, exactly one of the statements is true. In some other instances of this special rule, we could have both phenomena. We could have both three here and one there, but this is forbidden in this case. I haven't solved this puzzle yet, so let's see uh, how it's going. So this is a very suspicious setup, especially here. Here we could have a two here, a one there. Here we could have a three here, a two there. And here we could have a three here, a one there. So we can see that all of this, all of those options are mutually exclusive. I mean, if three is here, and one won't be here, but then three won't be here, so two will have to be here, two won't be here, so one will have to be here. So this is one option. But if I don't put the three here, then one will be here, so one won't be there, so two will be here. And because two won't be here, three will be there. So we have two options. Either we get all three digits here, or we get all three digits on the diagonal. So I think, so those are legitimate corner pencil marks. And this seems to interact with those. And that's really interesting. Because if I decide to put the 6 in ninth position from this side of the grid, then 6 goes here. So we are in this option. We are in this case. And if I decide here to put the 6 in seventh position, then 6 is here, and we are also in this case. It could also happen that neither of them holds, in which case we get a 9 here and a 7 there, if none of those options with 6 happen. And this is actually good, because in this case, 7 is in third position. And what I'm noticing is that in this case, three can't be in fourth position, so four has to be in third position. So, what I'm deducing from that is that actually this option is impossible. No, sorry. That's four in this case. All right. So, what I'm deducing from that is that, first case, we put the 6 in ninth position. So, in this case, we don't have 2, 3, 1 on this diagonal. Second case, we put the 6, we satisfy this clue with 6 in seventh position, in which case, 1, 2, 3 are not in the, on, those, on this diagonal, sorry. Or third case, none of these apply. In which case we put the 9 and the 7 here, 
and this is a 4, and in this third case, we can't have 1, 2, 3 on those positions. So I'm absolutely not sure that this is the intended, uh, the intending start for the puzzle, but what I'm seeing is that the option with 2, 3, 1 here is impossible. Or perhaps I should have made the logic in this orientation, in, in this direction. If I assume that 2, 3 and 1 are, are here, then those can only be fulfilled with 9 and 7 here, and this can't be fu fulfilled. I think that's what was intended. So that's not 3, that's not 2, that's not 3, that's not 1. We get 1, 3 and 2, and so... Oh! I'm understanding what's happening here. I'm doing this on problem mode, and this is why I've had weird stuff. So I will remove. I'm not sure what's happening in here. I can't seem to remove the small pencil marks, so I think I just have to live with it. Let's just highlight the stuff that has been fully used and let's get back to Sudoku. So now what do we have? Do we have anything with this? With this? I'm not sure. I could put eight I could put five in eighth position and it would satisfy this as well. Or the only option is to put eight in here, in which case five is not here. And we will have 8 in both positions here, which would also work for that. That's not very useful, I'm afraid. So is there something about that? I could have a 3 here, or a 1 there. But if 1 is here... Oh, no, actually 1 here in third position would prevent this from being possible because I couldn't place five in first position nor one in fifth position. So that's that's probably more of a way to start. So three has to be here to satisfy this. And then... That's interesting. So one of those options we have to put a 5 in here, and the other option will put a 3 in here. So this is much straightforward as a logic, but I'm seeing also that 3 can't be in first position because of this, so 1 will have to be here. So then 3 is here, so 3 can't be in fourth position, so 4 has to be here. I'm also seeing here that 3 can't be in 2nd position, so 2 will have to be in 3rd. Uh, this is much more straightforward than, than what I did at the beginning. If, I'm, if I try to place this 3 in 4th position, then none of this can happen. I can't put 7 in 3rd position, nor 3 in this 7th position. I read it done. So, so from the start, we could place this 4 here. And this very convoluted logic at the beginning was completely useless in the end. This row... This row begs for placing 4 in 5th position from both sides, because if I don't do that, then I must place 5 in 4th position from both sides, and this definitely doesn't work. So now that I'm seeing all of this, it looks very much like a showcase of very simple logic with this constraint, with this special variant. What next?
Two here can't be in fourth position, so four will have to be in second. Oops. What am I doing? Here, it could be six here or five there. Both look possible. So where's the next place to look? Here we have something similar to this, which means that only one of them can put six in ninth position and only one of them can put nine in sixth position. So there will have to be a nine somewhere here and a six somewhere here. And six here is not in ninth position on this row. So nine will have to be in sixth position. Here six can't be in seventh position, so seven must be in sixth. And it also satisfies this. And we now know that three can't be in this cell. And we will have to remember that. So if I were solving on paper, I would just uh, write not three in here. Or more likely, pas trois. Then this is not a six in seventh position, so seven has to come to sixth position. And we will have a seven there, but doesn't appear to be very useful. What hasn't been used yet? We could still place a 5 here or an 8 there, and 8 there would work with that. We can still place 8 here, but we can't place a 4 here because of this 4. So this clue has to be an 8 there, and it pushes the 9 here and the 6 there. So this is now fulfilled, and those are fulfilled as well. So is there anything to do with Sudoku? With those falls, I can place a fall somewhere in this area. So we either have one here or two there. What about this, six and eight? We can't have eight here because of this, so six will have to be here. And by Sudoku, we get a 6 here. We must remember that 5 can't be in 5th position here. But with this, 4 can't be in 6th position, so we have to put 6 in 4th. Here it's either a 2 here or a 5 there. But 5 here wouldn't work with that, because I couldn't have 5 in 6th position, nor 6 in 5th. So that's actually a 5 here. No, sorry, a 2 here. So that is happening here. We still need 1, 2, 3, and 5. Sorry, 1, 3, 5, and 9. So this is 1, 3, 5. But 5 can't be in 4th position. And here, 6 can't go here, so we will have to put 5 here. And here, that's a 9. I see the two. What about this? Now, 2 is not in 8th position, so 8 has to be in 2nd. And it places the 8 here in 5th position. So both clues here are fulfilled. And the corollary of that is that eight is that five can't be in eighth position. So this won't be a five. So this will be from seven nine. So few clues haven't been used yet. We could have the five here or the one there. 
here we can't have the 5 in 8th position. So this is 8 in 5th position. Oh, and I've been missing that. Those pencil marks allow me to disambiguate this. Now 9 here can't be in this place, so 8 will have to be in ninth position. So there's a little to work with at this point. What about 7 and 8? We know that 8 can't be in 7th position because of that, so there's a 7 here. So the negative rule hasn't been used a lot, but it's been used. Oh, there's a 1 here, so I can't put a 1 in here. So I must, to fulfill this, I must put the 5 here. My Sudoku 8 and 7, which are not here, must appear up there. So that's 7, that's 8, and this puts the 9 in here. Now here I need 3, 5 and 6, so this can't be 3, 6 or 5, 3 or 5, because of this. Here I need 1, 2 and 9. And because I must fulfill one of those two, it can only be the two in here. So we're slowly getting there. 5 or 6 in here. But we know by this, because there's a 2 here, that 5 can't be here. But that's not helping, actually. It's about 6 being here or 5 being there. So that was not a breakthrough. So there's only this and that to disambiguate. Let's remember that those are not aligned. Let's do some plain standard Sudoku first. So with those 7s, we place a 7 here. We need a, a 5, a 6, and an 8. So 8 is in here. 8 is here actually. And that's the 5. So there must be a 5 in here. In there we need a 1. It can only go there. We need a 3 and a 4. So that's the 4. That's the 3. And this 3 disambiguates that. So the 3 is here. The 5 is there to satisfy those clues. And remove the small pencil marks. Seven is not here, it's not here. Here, here on this row, I still need six, seven, and nine, so that's a six. Seven is not here, that's the seven. Here, I need one, eight, and five, so five is here. That's one, that's eight, so that's nine, that's one. Here there's a 2, 4 and 9 here, that's a 5, 2 and 3, here 2, 5 and 8. Here 1, 6 and 7, so that's 7. And we see that 5 here, 6 there are still both options. 3, 4, and 9. So that's the 4. This is 2 or 8, but there's an 8 here. Oops. So that's 8, that's 5, that's 2. So now we know that to fulfill this clue, we must put the 6 in here. And the rest should be simple Sudoku. Well, this 5 here pushes the 5 into this position. We need a 2, it's here. We need a 6. Here is here. 1, 4, and 3. So that's 1, that's 3, that's 4. Here, 
1 and 6. Here, 7 and 4. And here, 8 and 9. And then, that's it. So, no fireworks. But I didn't enter the solution prior to this. So, there's a reason why there is no firework. So, the, that was a, a nice puzzle. I started with a very, very uh, uselessly complicated way of disambiguating something, after which I saw the simple logic that Wilbert had implemented into this puzzle. So there was really no need to go <laughs> out of my way. But that was fun. That was a fun step, what I said at the beginning. Thanks for watching this video and see you soon on Sudo Canard.